Hi everyone, I am Katie Stanley, a naturalist for the Allegheny County Parks Department. So if you watched our last video, you now know all about how to identify spotted lanternflies, why you should care, and some ways you can help. And now we are going to learn how to make our very own spotted lanternfly trap at home. Now, the idea of the spotted lanternfly trap is that you put it on a tree that you know that spotted lanternflies prefer. So something like a maple, an apple, a tree of heaven is an awesome tree because the idea is that the nymphs, the little baby spotted lanternflies, are hanging out up in the canopy of the tree but often get blown out just because of their small size. So they'll walk back down to the base of the tree and climb up the trunk. So this predictable behavior is why the trap works. The idea is that they're going to climb up the tree, get caught into our funnel, and then hang out in this bag where they will eventually die. So let's learn how to make our own spotted lanternfly trap at home. So to make a spotted lanternfly trap, you just need a couple materials. So first you need the tops of two gallon jugs. So I just went ahead and cut off the tops just like this, including cutting off the handle. So you'll need two of those tops there. You'll also need some hot glue, so a hot glue gun and some extra glue because you will use a decent amount of glue for this. Some duct tape. A 30 by about 24 inch piece of window screening. A stapler. a plastic bag, gallon bag with the zipper. The zipper is important. A rubber band. Some scissors. A piece of metal wire. And then some twine and some tacks to secure your trap to your tree of choice. Alrighty, so now we have all of our ingredients for our trap. Let's go ahead and start making it. So you're gonna take those two tops of your gallon jugs that you cut off, and where you cut off the handle, there'll be a little bit of a flatter part. So you're gonna make sure that those flatter pieces are together like that. So we are going to hot glue our tops together. So again, making sure those flatter sides are together because that's what's gonna go against the tree and just push it together until that glue dries. Alrighty, so once that glue is dry, you have your funnel and now we are going just for some extra security to add a piece of duct tape around the outside of the section that we glued together. So you can just go ahead and duct tape around those two top pieces. Perfect. Alrighty, so now we have the top of our spotted lantern fly trap made, and now we're going to secure the piece of window screening to the funnel. So you can go ahead and grab your window screening. And basically you're going to fold it at the top like a triangle. So fold it just like that. And where the tip is, you want to cut a hole because this is what is going to go into our funnel. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut yourself a little hole. And then like I said, this is what's gonna go into our funnel. So you're gonna pick one side of the funnel. Again, that flat side is going to be the side that goes to the tree. So you want the shorter pieces to stick out of the front like this around the right, rounded side. So now basically what we're going to do is hot glue our window screening to our funnel. Now this part is kind of frustrating because it does take a little while. So just go ahead, take your time, hot glue along that piece of screening. And my recommendation is to allow it to dry before moving on to another section. That just makes it a little easier for you. Alrighty, so now we have our window mesh glued to our funnel and we're just going to staple together this top piece. So you can go ahead and take your staple and add a bunch of staples along that section there just to make sure it's secured together. Alrighty. 
All righty, so now we have our stapled section and that's nice and important because it's gonna keep our trap open. We're gonna add something else that's gonna make sure that our trap doesn't close. And that is going to be our little piece of wire. <laughs> Along this open piece right here, you are going to weave your wire through the window screening. So once your wire is woven through your window screening, you do just wanna make sure it's bent so that it is again keeping that screen open. And then you could just go ahead and pinch the edges so that that wire doesn't fall out. Perfect. All right. So now our trap should go ahead and stay open just like that. And now of course we need something for the nymphs to get caught in and that is where your Ziploc bag comes into play. So grab your Ziploc bag and your rubber band, go ahead and unzip your bag, put it around the top of that funnel. So around the top of the funnel like that and then go ahead and zip it closed. So that's why the zipper ones work a little better than the um, the ones that you kind of slide your finger along to close. And then just for some extra security, we are going to rubber band around that bag so that it's secured to our lid again. All right, so now your trap looks like it is pretty much complete. So again, this is where your nymphs are going to get caught. And now the last step is just to go ahead and put it on our tree. So I'm gonna put my spotted lantern fly trap on this maple tree behind me. But as I previously said, there are up to 70 other plants that the spotted lantern fly will feed on. So if you wanna learn more about which plants are good for traps, you can visit Penn State Extension's website. So all you need is your trap, your tacks, and some twine. We're gonna secure this to our tree. So first things first, we're going to take our piece of twine and you wanna put your trap about like four to five feet up on the tree, again, with that metal part outwards, cause that's gonna keep your trap open. And we're just going to tie our trap to our tree up here. And then of course we want to secure it really tightly to the tree so that the nymphs that are climbing up climb onto our mesh. So that is when you're gonna grab your tacks and then tack along the bottom of this mesh here. And if there's any deep indents in the tree, you wanna make sure that it's secured there as well. Again, we don't want our nymphs to go underneath of the tree or underneath of the trap, we want them to go onto it. So you have officially done your part in stopping the spread of the spotted lanternfly by putting up your very own spotted lanternfly trap. Now, as you can see, this does not go fully around the tree. So ideally you wanna put two traps, one on the other side, so that no matter where those nymphs are climbing up, they will get funneled into your trap. Now it's important to get these up by April as this is when the nymphs will start to emerge from their egg cases. But that is all I have for you today, guys. I hope you had some fun making a trap and I can't wait to see your traps out in the wild in our Allegheny County parks and at home. Thanks so much.